Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be eating Harry Potter food for 24 hours. So if you don't actually know, I'm a massive Harry Potter fan and I'm actually rereading the entire series. So if you want to check that out, go to my book talk. I will put it here. And basically I'm going to be eating Harry Potter food for 24 hours and stuff like that. So basically it's normal food but from the book. So this is the second one and this is what we're going to be having for breakfast. Now, Breakfast is a bit of a strange one because I thought I had normal sausages in the house and I didn't. The other ones I had are frankfurters, so that's what we're just going with. So, you know. So, in the second book, after the third film, the, the third chapter of the burrow, when they come back from going Harry, it says here, I will put this on screen by the way, that they. She, I don't blame you dear, she assures, that's Molly, tipping Harry eight sausages onto the plate, so we've got sausages. And then just a bit further on, she now adds three fried eggs, so we have a fried egg. And then just a bit further down, she says, where is it, just a bit further down, she starts cutting Harry's bread and buttering it for him, so I've done toast. Because our bread needs toasting, because it's kind of a bit off. And I know for a fact that in the first book, they show that they have ketchup so that's what i got and then i got and then i showed that i got a cup of tea because lupin does tea hagrid does tea i'll get several bits up and unfortunately i did not have any orange juice however i had apple juice and i just fancied a drink so that's what i got mm. and then i will show you my breakfast now there we go so we have sausages they are from first like i said fried egg and toast so i'm gonna get eating this now because i'm starving finished my breakfast so I'm just gonna let it settle um in a bit we're gonna make some of Hagrid's Harry's birthday cake unfortunately I couldn't find like any green icing thing to write on the top but I've got I'm gonna make just make some people to cream for him um I did make I didn't make the cakes because I didn't have time uh it's been a very busy week with results and stuff and going away tomorrow so that's why they're bought. I'm really sorry about that, but you know. And I'm gonna see you when I next make the cakes because I'm gonna have them after my tea, after my dinner, I think. And then, yeah, we've got some fun little bits to try. I didn't buy that much because it was so difficult to find Harry Potter things that aren't normal. I won't lie. So. Like I couldn't find butter bear or anything like that. The star in White Rose has gone. Um, the Harry Potter one. So that's really annoying. I was going to go in there. But, you know, what can you do? So I'm just going to drink my tea. Let my food settle. Find out the scenes in all the books. Because planning i did not do that i have everything planned like food wise but i did not like plan on finding everything by the way the way i found like the food out is obviously i'm rereading books anyway so i kind of knew and as well harry potter lexicon shows everything harry potter related like food everything like that so if you want to know anything harry potter lexicon on the internet is the best place to go to so yeah i'm just going to wash up and stuff and stuff and um, yes yeah, that's pretty also i'm really sorry about the washing machine going off but there's nothing i can do so you know let's see at the next time i eat which i don't know when that will be or when i'm making the butter rice in to do the harry's birthday cakes hello so it is now dinner time and well it's in the microwave waiting so yeah i just want to show you the my jumpers so this is my jumper it's i saw this so i'm up to no good it is a bit it's got in color over it but you know 
this is my Harry Potter jumper. I don't really have that many Harry Potter stuff, so this is like my only really jumper. And then the rest of it is PJs. So like the top I was wearing today, that went as a t-shirt. It's like Ministry of Magic. I don't know if I showed you this morning. Um, it is this one. It's actually a PJ top from uh, Sainsbury's. But yeah, it's a bit cold. It's a bit cold, so I've just got this one. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing, how far I live. Now, for lunch, we're having pasties. Uh, we're having a pasty, and we're having Harry's happy birthday cake. However, I don't want to make a full on cake. So, and as I said, I'm being really busy. So, we have cupcakes that I'm going to add some icing on. I'm going to add some butter icing that I'm going to make after I've eaten um, my lunch. So, that's what we're doing. And then, got some fun things planned so I'm just gonna do that I've also just finished the first Harry Potter book I've literally just finished it so that's fun so my goal is to try and read all of them in this academic year so yeah so it is now dinner time and I've got the pasty uh, it's very very hot including the plate so I'm gonna eat this now and um, I couldn't find corn Cornish pasties so this is actually a chicken and mushroom one from M&S because uh, we fancy over here. M&S is the best, I love M&S. Quite a lot of food is from M&S um, just because, yeah, it was, it was just the place we went to. Um, so yeah, we'll be so cooked. Gonna be adding ketchup. I'm just gonna go. Mm. Oops, there's too much more corn. Mm. Um, so I'm not gonna eat this and probably watch some TikToks because you know. Say hydrate. I've actually decided I'm gonna watch this and them. They do like British candy videos and ugh, they're just so good. Not British, they're British, but they try like candy from all over the world that subscribe hey guys, to them. That has that has been demolished. Um, I'm gonna fill this up with more gilly water because I am really really thirsty. So that needs that needs filling up. And now we're gonna get on with making some butter icing. Or you see, I might just make some just normal icing to go on top instead of butter icing because I think it's just gonna be easier. I might do that. I've got all of it, apart from like I said earlier, I don't have any of the green stuff to go on top to do the writing, which I'm really annoyed about because I went into like two, two or three stores to find it, couldn't find it anywhere, so I'm really sorry, but let's get going with that. This is supposed to be a light pink and uh, well, that's the colour of it, so I kind of got it wrong, but you know, it's okay, it's, a, it's gonna be okay, Hagrid will be fine with this. Got one of my muffins. Should I put the lights on for this? Yeah, that's better. I'm really sorry I didn't put lights. As you can see, right, I'll show you properly the colour now. 
that is the colour. Got my muffin and we're just going to Oh no, it's too runny. No. I think I made it too runny. I think we need to add a bit more in. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't, if you can tap. Shit, sugar from fairies. I'm gonna have to do another batch. Mm, that's better. I think we've got it now, guys. We've got it. And it's also lightened it up quite a lot. But we've got the consistency right. That is a completely better consistency than that one. This, I don't think it's going to drip off. There we go. Can you, can you see? We did it. We got two cupcakes. And a big old mess. So, yeah, to my muffins, they're all running everywhere. Running everywhere. I'm gonna leave one of them for my dad. But yeah, these are my version of the happy birthday cakes that Hagrid does for Harry. And they are as bad as what Hagrid would do, in my personal opinion. And that is just keeping character for Harry Potter, if I may say. Mm. 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 That was all good. Since I met you, and I don't think it will stop soon. I'm gonna eat this off camera because there's no graceful way of eating these things, so they're just falling apart. And I'll see you guys in a bit when I next eat something. Hello, so it's now dinner time. I do still have my hair brush on. I just wanted to show you that I've still got it on, but it is too hot for that, so I'm gonna take it off. Sorry, I don't have a hair pot t shirt on anymore underneath. But um, this tea that I planned, well, it's not for this weather. It's a very hot day today. And I've got chips, pie, and vegetables. So, this is what we've got. So, steak and ale pie, which is from the first Harry Potter, and then this was all spoken about in the book, in the book as well, so I'll put up the two scenes, and I've got gravy, of course. You can't have pie without smothering it and gravy. Now let's get right to it. Feels good to love again. Know that you're my best friend. has been absolutely demolished. The only bit I've got left is like a bit of the side bit, especially because I don't like them. But yeah, that was absolutely demolished. That was really, really good. 
That's not food I really like in winter. I don't normally like this steak and kid. I think it's steak and kidney or snake mayo. Um, I don't really like them ones. I don't really like steak ones personally. I might prefer like chicken ones, but it was still, it was still amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna let this settle and then I will see you because I've got one more thing to eat and I also have a drink as well. So that's really exciting. So, yeah, I'm gonna wash up now and then let everything settle and I'll come back to you. But yeah, I'm really excited for the last thing I wanna show you. So stay tuned for that. I'm really sorry if this isn't been the best. I don't really know what to do, but I couldn't get any butter beer. Like I was saying, the wizard shop in the White Rose was shut. So I couldn't get any butter beer. Couldn't get any sweets or anything like that. So it's been really, really difficult trying to try and find Harry Potter stuff for this video. That's why it's mainly normal food, but I really hope that that's okay. But anyway, I'm gonna go wash up now. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea now and I actually realized I had one of my Harry Potter mugs. So this is the Dark Lord Shall Rise Again. I got this, one of my friends got me this for my birthday and I have two more upstairs. So I'd actually use them on the day to day, but I do keep them special. I also have upstairs a cauldron one, which is mahusive that I'm keeping special in the box and I have an espresso one. So yeah, but this one is a really cool one that I did use to use and I stopped using it though. Um, Cause I got different mug obviously, but this was my big mug originally. So I'm gonna make myself another cup of tea. The kettle has just boiled. So watch the mug really carefully as something really cool will happen. It is one of those heat up mugs, which I think is really, really, really cool. Um, this is a dark Death Eater one, um, but my friend was like, yeah, I know you're, 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 at the time I was a Slytherin, but realistically I'm a Hufflepuff, but I just like loved that sort of thing um, back when she got me this and she was like, all the other ones weren't really your thing, but this one was, and I was like, yeah. I, I, I'm a Hufflepuff at heart, but I will always have like the coolness of Slytherin and the edginess. I think that's just, I just love it, so this is why I got this. Like, I think that Slytherins are like the e girls on TikTok. Like, you know, the vibe of like e girls, like these days. I, they gave me Slytherin vibes, and I'm absolutely loving for it. That's what I always have. I've always loved for like that. So, yeah, this is the mug. I'll show you properly once we've got my cup of tea. I will show you the mug now but it's kind of gone all the way around so it starts here I just think it's really cool I think my favorite part is just that like that's just really cool the way like they've done it with like the cloud and smoke and stuff so yeah that's I made a cup of tea in my bottom mug oops this was slightly wonky Oops, it's been slightly wonky this entire time. I'm really sorry about that. So, um, I'm really, really sorry if you can hear next door. They're playing the music really loud, so I'm really sorry about that. But with my beautiful cup of tea that you've just seen me make, I had two things to go with it. So I got an egg custard for pudding, but I don't think I'm gonna eat it because I'm quite full, but I did wanna have, I did get one thing specifically from the Harry Potter world. So MS Food actually launched with Harry Potter Wizarding World for me. And this was the only thing left out of everything. This is the last thing left and it is a Harry Potter, as you can see, Harry Potter, Wizarding World, MS, they all came together and made this golden snitch. It is literally just a hollow bit of chocolate, but it's the only thing I could find Harry Potter related and like by the actual like team. 
so I really wanted to get it just to like get it for this thing. So let's open this up. Oh, it's my phone. Let's open it up. Did it. I hope I kind of damaged it. Okay. So it is. Oh my god, this is cool. So I'll show you inside of the box because the inside of the box is really cool as well. Like, look at that packaging on the inside. Now, if you don't know, if you know I'm a graphic design student or if you didn't and packaging, oh, packaging is like, yeah, packaging, I just love packaging and look at that beautifulness. And then the glam finale. Oh, look at that, look at all this detail, can you see? It's got the wings that curve, like, they're attached the, the wings and all of this detail. <gasps> Look at that. Now let's get this open. I really don't want to damage it, but at the same time, it's like I want to eat it. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Look. <gasps> the details even on, on the actual thing itself. I think it's hollow, it's hollow. See that detail on it and everything? Okay, let's eat it, let's do it. No, it's not solid, cause I know it, but it's not. Oh, I just broke off in my hand. <laughs> I like these red chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. I think I could eat all this myself. Mmm. Put chocolate all in my hands. I was to break it. I had to put it through Mmm. Chocolate and a cup of tea. So I needed to end the night. Is this? Mm. This is how much I've got left of it. And I'm gonna actually savor this. And put it away. Uh, I'm now I'm eating chocolates and I'm just gonna eat drink tea. It's still really hot. Yeah. So this is Halloween of the exact same day as you can tell. Um, but I'm editing because I've had to edit this video in the exact same day as doing it because you know we don't think ahead and I'm going on holiday tomorrow till Sunday. So my my camera's been packed away for that trip because I'm gonna loads of snapshots so yeah i'm gonna end the video here i really hope that any harry potter fan really really enjoys it and have enjoyed this video it was a very confusing kind of last minute because the shop i was harry potter shop i was going to go to is actually closed which is really frustrating and obviously i can't get to the studios because i'm all the way up north and that is all the way in london so sorry about that but i did hope you really did like this video i'm a huge harry potter fan so it's really cool recreating it and i've also loved editing being able to find all the gifts and things to add into this video so i really hope that you have liked this and if you have please give it a thumbs up comment down below what is your favorite fantasy harry potter foods i think mine is probably some of the the weasley stuff so like the like puking pastels and all that i think that's just because like that's how weasley was a weasley star and i'm a, I'm a massive uh, weasley twin fan so i think that's got to be some of my faves but the ones i've actually tried i've only ever got from the studios bow box every flavored beans but um fingers crossed in the future i'm gonna be going down again so yeah if you're a big harry potter fan i really did hope you did like this video 
and I hope I've done you guys justice because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I've been a huge Harry Potter fan since about being the age of about six or something ridiculous like that. So yeah, like every time we go down to France, every time ever since being little, we always put the audiobook on all the way there. Every single one of them I would like listen to on road trips. It's like a thing in the family. My parents hate it and it still happens now and I'm now 19. So yeah. Um, Please subscribe to my channel if you did like this video. Fingers crossed there'll be more Harry Potter content soon and a lot more food videos. So do subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every time I do upload. I upload on a Saturday at 5 pm. And I will see you guys next time in my next video.